Ross and welcome back to Unforgotten Tech. Today we're going to be talking about headlight restorations. We're going to be answering the following questions of what are headlights generally made of on today's vehicles, why do we need to perform headlight restorations, and how does one perform a headlight restoration. However, before we get started with this, if you could take a second and like the video, and if you're new to our channel, please subscribe and support us. Most headlights on today's vehicles are made of polycarbonate plastics, or PC. While this material is used on headlights for automobiles, you may also see this material for commonly used items such as safety helmets, safety glasses, compact discs, cell phones, and even bulletproof glass. This material is used because it does not crack easily. It is durable and it's cheap to create. However, over the time, this material is sensitive and abrasive such as sand and dust will wear down the lens. This requires the material to be coated in a silicone hard coat. It is because of the silicone hard coat that we need to perform headlight restorations. Over time, this coat will be worn out by sand and dust causing the contaminant to embed itself into the PC itself. This buildup along with oxidization and yellowing will cause the clear lens to become obstructed and foggy. If headlights are left without restoration long enough, cracks can start to form. When a headlight becomes foggy, they can greatly reduce your vision during night driving and other vehicles being able to see you. Now that you know what headlights are made of and why we have to restore them, let's go ahead and complete a headlight restoration. Now there are many products and methods of restoring headlights, however today we're only going to focus on one of them. We will be using Turtle Wax Headlight Lens Restore. Next we will want to wash the headlight to remove any surface dirt. Because we will be using chemicals and sanding the buildup out of the headlight, we will want to wear gloves and apply masking tape to protect surrounding surfaces of the vehicle. We will then apply the lens clarifying compound to a cotton cloth and rub over the entire lens using firm pressure. Buff with a clean cloth, we'll want to focus on the headlight one at a time. Next, we will apply the spray lubricant to the lens and use polishing pad number one to sand out imperfections. After major imperfections are sanded out, we will change to sanding pad two and continue the process until using all four sanding and polishing pads. Now we will apply the clarifying compound and rub thoroughly until lens turns clear. We will want to let this dry until hazy and then buff with a cotton towel. We will repeat the same process to the other headlight. This is important to do now so we can add the protective coats at the same time to both headlights. Now we will use the lens base coat wipe to evenly coat both headlights. After letting the base coat dry, we will immediately apply the lens sealing wipe. Now all we need to do is remove the tape and clean up our workstation. Well now that our headlights are restored, we're safe to get back on the road. Well, thank you so much for joining us here on Unforgotten Tech, and we look forward to joining you next time. 